Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Judith Fallon Reed Brown, and I am an author of several books. I'm also the writer and director of two award winning movies, Just Another Friday and The Gift Everlasting. But today I'm not here to talk about me and what I do. I'm here because I have the honor of speaking to the graduating class of 2015, and it's such a pleasure and an honor to be able to share with you this morning. Though I'm not there in person, I am here with you in spirit. You know, as you get ready to graduate, I think of myself when I was graduating, a young person just fresh out of high school with a whole world ahead of me. And I thought of all the things I could be, and I'm sure that's where you are today. And so today I want to talk to you a little bit about a very important subject, it's called free will. See, growing up as Christians, or just growing up in the world any at all, we've heard so much about free will and that God has given us free will. But what does that really mean? And what do we do with that free will? And as you get ready to leave your parents' homes, where you will be out in the world with less restrictions, free will is a very, very important thing to think about. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story. It's a story about two young ladies who are now big women who started out as friends in high school. One of them was called Maxine. See, Maxine was a hard worker. She was very talented. She did very, very well in school and graduated at the top of her high school class. Her friend Andrea, on the other hand, clowned around in school, gave as much trouble as she could, did okay, and still graduated, but she was not at the top of the class. You would have thought that of these two young ladies, Maxine would have been the one who would have made it really, really big. But the story took a turn when they graduated from high school. See, after graduation, their lives took completely different paths. Maxine's family broke apart, and instead of going to college, she decided to go and work and pursue a lifestyle that included drinking, smoking, and just living her own life, which is how she called it. Andrea, on the other hand, went to junior college. She struggled through that. She made it to four-year college, and she went as far as to pursue a doctorate as an adult. Andrea met her husband in college and they stayed friends. They were a good Christian couple until they got married and had their family. Maxine, on the other hand, had got married, got pregnant actually before she got married and found herself in a world of trouble. Today, both women are successful women. The difference between these two girls, one took the godly path and stayed on it, did the right things the way she should have done it. The other one, on the other hand, took her free will and did whatever she wanted to do with it. So yes, they both ended up very successful, but one went down a very hard road that included abuse, included drinking, included smoking, included mornings when she woke up and she didn't know where she was. What am I saying is that free will is an important gift from God. And what you do with that free will is going to determine who you become at the end of the road and how hard that road is. Your parents, your pastor, your church leaders, your friends have worked really hard to ensure that the right values have been placed in you. Those values are God's values. And it's your choice, totally your choice. You are going to be away from family. Most of you might be going off to college, not being at home, or even if you're staying home, you're going to be in college, you're going to be in a different environment, or maybe you're going to work, you're going to be in a different environment where the rules of home may not apply. You may feel like, okay, I'm free now, I can do what I want to do, I don't have mommy telling me what time to come in, daddy telling me what time I need to be in, or what I can do or can't do. But you have somebody more important that you have to answer to, and that is God. That is God, the same God who wakes you up every morning and the same God that is sitting and living in your spirit. And you have to follow that spirit. Andrea had three things going for her. See, she was a Christian. She stayed faithful to God her entire life and followed the path that was laid out for her. She had strong support from family, from mentors, from her church. But most importantly, she used her free will to make very sound, sensible decisions. That's the free will I'm talking about. That free will that you have, that you can choose to make sound, sensible decisions for your life, or you can choose to do something else. Maxine only had one thing going for her, really. She had a lot of talent. And so she was able to use that talent 
to parlay it into a successful life, but not without a lot of difficulty. I'm trying to help you to spare yourself some difficulty. I'm trying today to help you to spare yourself some heartache and some pain. And how do you do this? By using your free will to choose wisely. See, success, based on how the world sees success today, requires a lot of compromise. Success, the world tells you that success is having the right house or the right car or um, enough money. That's what the world preaches as success. The Bible tells us, and Jesus said, that he wishes that you would prosper as your soul prospers. So in order for you to prosper, your soul must prosper. And for your soul to prosper, you must make good, sound decisions. You must use your free will to make good, sound decisions. Because those good, sound decisions will change your life. What are these decisions that you can use your free will to make? Decision number one, put God first. Always put and keep God first. You'll be off at college where nobody might be calling you to prayer time or devotion or any of that stuff. But this is what you have learned. This is what you know. Stick with it. Put God and keep God first. Remember that no matter what you think, no matter what you do, God is still watching and you are accountable to God. Don't take that for granted. Not because he isn't standing over you with a big stick. Don't take it for granted. Stay grounded in your faith. The second thing I want you to do is to be a leader, not a follower. See, there's so many things in the world today that wants us to follow. Where we're being taught to accept all kinds of things that we know deep in our heart is not right. Be a leader. Stand up. If you're the only one who is standing for truth and right, stand up anyway. Be a leader, not a follower. Stay focused. Very important. There are lots of things to take you off track. Lots of distractions. Lots of things on TV. Lots of video games. Lots of movies. Lots of songs. Lots of everything. Friends, girls, boys. Everything to take you off track. Decide what you want from life. And stay focused. Keep it in front of you. Just like the apostles did. Pressing towards that mark. Work hard. Nothing good comes from easy. Work hard. Put everything you have into what you're doing. Be diligent. Even if you have favor, because favor does not mean that you don't have to work hard. God grants us favor, he blesses us, but it doesn't mean we don't have to work hard. So you have to work hard at what you're gonna do. And do good. Please, do good. Whatever it is that you're gonna do, do good. Remember that God is love and God is a God of love. And when you get out there, you represent him. So do good, stay true, be ethical. Don't worry about what the Joneses are doing or what your friends are doing. You do what you know is right and true and ethical. Above all, keep God's word planted right here in your heart. It is a light unto your path and a lamp unto your feet. And when everything else fails, God's word will never fail you. And so as you get ready to go out into the world, graduating class of 2015, I just want to let you know that there's a big, beautiful world out there. No matter how it looks, there's a big, beautiful world out there that God has created and he has given to us. We can make a difference. You can make a difference. Every small act makes a difference. And how you use your free will from this day on will determine the difference you make. Thank you for having me. God bless.